So let me log into VidSkippy and show you around. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through the platform um, of VidSkippy. Just set up a campaign. Um, there are user tutorials in here. There's also tool tips throughout the site. So it's very easy for even a complete newbie to set up the first campaign. But I'm just going to go through it just to show you how easy it is. So this is a new campaign window. This is what you'll see when you set up your first campaign. So I'm going to call this one Viral VidSkippy. Uh, you can see this is a placeholder over here. So as soon as you change this, um, it will show up there. So you can choose from YouTube, Vimeo, or add your own MP4. So let's assume that we want to use YouTube. Click there. You can either paste in the piece of code there, or you can search by adding in a phrase here and clicking search. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. You can also watch it. So if I want to watch that one first, I can click there. I'll select that one and you can see that it adds the code. Now, just so you know, this is the piece of code right at the end of a YouTube URL. Okay. Now the thumbnail, you could choose to use the thumbnail that comes with the actual video yourself, or you can choose from images that come with the platform and there are an awful lot of them. So all you have to do is click load more and you can see more load up like so. There's an awful lot of images ready installed, ready to use. You can also search by phrase, or if you have a using account, you can link your API to VidSkippy. And in order to upload your own image, all you have to do is click here, choose file, select the file that you want to use. And you can see it's updated here. Now the play icons, again, you can choose from a number. So if I click there, you can see that I can choose from a number of different colors that relate to this one here. Same with this one. So let's, uh, uh, let's put a blue one on there. And you can see that it pulsates as well, which really gets people to actually click those videos. So which works best with this one? Let's have a look. Uh, that one looks good. We'll click save. Player dimension, if you're adding your video to a website, a CMS, WordPress, something like that, then you can actually set the actual size of the, um, the video here. Okay. Now video ads, this is the in-stream ad. Again, you can use something from YouTube, Vimeo, or MP4. In this case, I'm going to use an MP4. So I click there and then paste in the link here. Now we can set the ad to pop up at any point. So we could have it running as a pre-roll, much like uh, many of the YouTube ads you see today. So in that case, you would put before it starts or before video starts, or we can set it to pop up after a certain time delay. So in this case, I'm gonna put five seconds. The banner text can be changed to anything you like. Uh, you can see here the text that you want to appear on the advertisement notification banner. And you'll see that up in the top left corner. So again, you can change that to anything you like. Let's call this viral skippy just for argument's sake. Skip button. I'll show you how that looks in just a second. But essentially what this is, is yeah, a little skip button that comes up here, same as YouTube. So users, viewers can actually skip your advert if they want to. Let's set that to nine seconds. Call to action button. Now this is the important bit. So this is essentially your buy button, your call to action button. So you can send anybody to anywhere you like from within that video. And you can use the buttons that come included with the software. You can see there's a number there, or you can add your own. In this case, I'm going to add one. So if I just click on here and then choose file and select the image I want to use. And the button URL goes in here. Again, this is the link. So it could be an affiliate link. It could be a link to your landing page. It could be a link to your blog, anything you like, really. So I'll just paste that one in there. Open a new tab. You can actually position the button itself. So I'm going to place it middle center, leave it large and a delay set to eight seconds and here you can enable it for mobile devices so we'll click that on and publish 
Now, if I come over here, I'll just drag this over for you. And copy the URL there. Then, if I open uh, that in another tab, did you know that in-stream video ads are more effective there. than TV commercials? You're watching one right now. Now, imagine putting your marketing message right here with a clickable link in. And now you can see our advert pops up. And we click there, and it takes us to the page that we determined inside of the software. So you can see just how easy Bidskippy is to use.